Hi everybody, this is Jeff Schmidt with holyschmidt.com and deductions.tax and welcome to another video. So you're 50 and you're wondering what you should have in your savings to make sure that you have enough in your golden years. Well, this video will cover that off and a few other points as well. So let's get right into it. We're going to cover off three things. The average retirement savings for savers, meaning the people that actively save for retirement, or at least put something away for retirement. We're going to cover the average retirement savings for savers and non-savers, meaning the people that don't put anything away, i.e. this group right here. 81% of all Americans don't save money for retirement. And then we're going to talk about what you should have for retirement at your age. Let's define a couple of things first. Average versus median. Average is if you were to sum up all of the retirement accounts at Fidelity for all 50 year olds there, and then divide that number by the number of retirement accounts, that's going to give you an average number. The median is a different number. This is the middle point, the midpoint in the account. So if you have five different accounts, one, two, three, four, five, or 50 or 500, 5,000 or 5 million, it's the one right in the middle. How much does that one account have? And frankly, that's a much more important number because the mean or the average number is skewed by mega savers, people who have family wealth and they just put all of their savings into a 401k and other assets as well. But it's not meaningful because most people don't have a trust fund. So let's talk about, let's talk about this for a second. If I were a 50 year old and I were to take five different accounts, one has $535,000. One has $84,750. One has $32,250. The fourth account has $25,000. And the fifth account has $15,000. This gives you a total for all five accounts of $692,000 and an average of $138,400. At 50 years old, the average savings is $138,400 for savers. And the median savings is $32,250. So we'll just put these numbers right here. $138,400, $32,250. The problem, of course, is number one. This is the person who had the family inheritance and socked away all of their pay in the 401k, IRAs, etc. This is the person that, for whatever reason, decided to live at home until they're 50 years old and put all of their funds into different savings accounts. There are a lot of reasons why number one exists, but virtually none of them apply to you. So the average number is really less relevant for you than the median number. So if you are with the pack, the person in the middle, you have at 50 years old, you have $32,250 in saving if you're comparing yourself to a group of savers. But the problem of course is this number right here. 81% of Americans have less than $5,000 in savings. When you factor in that group, the average number turns out to be 30,340. And the median is $10,177. Hardly enough to retire on. Now, what does conventional wisdom say you should have at 50 years old? Well, if you looked at the stats on Fidelity, they would say you should have six times your current salary. That assumes that you get a return of 6.5% per annum while you're working and another 5% 
per annum when you retire and you move your assets into less risky investments. Now, before you get too upset, understand two things. This assumes that you spend in retirement like you do when you're working, meaning you pay your mortgage, you pay for your kid's college, you pay for trips for everybody in the family, and you generally live a very expensive lifestyle. The reality is that's not what really happens. When you retire, you don't have a lot of the obligations that you had when you were working. So my view is this number should be about half that number, so 3x. If you aren't there yet, that's okay. You still have 15 years to get there and other videos will show you how to get there, but understand that if you're behind, you're aiming for three, maybe four X your current income as a starting point. The number goes up, by the way, as you get closer and closer to retirement. In my next video, I'm going to show you how to bridge the gap over the next 15 years or less, depending on where you're at. And if you're 65 and you still have no savings, I'm going to show you some things you can do in retirement to balance out your income and at the same time still enjoy a nice retirement. Hey, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up because that helps others find it as well. I want to help as many people as I possibly can. And also don't forget to hit subscribe and notifications below so that you get notified when I post my next video. This is Jeff Schmidt. Thanks for watching.